You know, the last time I've ever felt so betrayed by someone else is when I came to the sad realization that my grandmother was a narcissistic control freak who probably never loved me. This isn't quite as bad, but let me just tell you, I openly supported Zipcast for a couple of years now. I went out of my way to defend this website. And then the guy running the site throws a fucking temper tantrum and decides to shut it down. Which is complete bullshit. Though, to be honest, this guy has never really had too much of my trust. I mean, I appreciated the hard work and dedication that they put into this website. I made myself a pillar of the community unintentionally. It was just really easy because I'm just that nice of a guy. And, and this is just how things are going to end. With a fucking temper tantrum. I have only been so betrayed once in my life. Once. This is bullshit. And I tried to talk some sense into this guy, let me tell ya. And he managed to lose even more of my trust by trying to turn me against this guy who was the community manager who did an awesome job at being a community manager by the way who managed to earn my trust where well, this guy has never tried at all to earn my trust and he thinks that I'm just going to trust him more than a guy who became my friend. Look, look at this. Well, oh, if you heard some of the things he would say about the users, or the fact that he wanted the page to create, he, that, that users can submit a complaint about frozen views and it would go nowhere, so he didn't have to hear about it. <clears throat> so I responded, we the users insult each other all the time, and Mac has been a target of this on a few occasions. Like how I pointed out, he constantly five stars almost every video he sees with low standards, making the ratings feel hollow. It's not that often that any of us really care. Spider fans, for example, seem to have taken the label of White Knight in stride. Also, I cannot say I blame him for wanting to make that page with people constantly complain about it on the forums. He also tried to convince me that Mac had been lying to me, uh, uh, with uh, lying to the users with these weekly updates that 90% of his updates were lies and falsities when he didn't even try to prove it. He just pointed me to an article and said, everything in this article is bogus. You know what's bogus? Is you trying to tell me this without giving a shred of actual evidence? Fuck you, Lois. Fuck you. I am I am not even going to try to censor that because that's how fucking pissed off I am at you, Lois. You had my respect. You had some of my trust. And then you go and pull this bullshit on me. Yeah? Fuck you. I guess that asshole Allison was right about you all along. And that's not an easy thing for me to say, because Allison was a fucking cyber bully. But he was right about you. And the fact of the matter is, is that everything Allison said was only ever a half lie or an exaggeration. So you know what? I'm not even too surprised at this point that he was right about this. So yeah, fuck you, Lois. This is an ultimate betrayal of our trust, of my trust, of everything I tried to do to support this website. Fuck you, and goodbye.